What's up guys, Ryan here, and in this video we're going to be going over a couple of things, but first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so much for just the success of this channel. I, it's liter I literally could not have done it without, without you guys clicking that, <laughs> clicking the subscribe button and, and watching all my videos and, and really just engaging in such an awesome community. Um, it, it's been great, like the, the amount... The amount this channel has grown in such a small time. I actually have a second, or a first YouTube channel, I guess. This is my second. Uh, and <laughs> took years to get, or probably like a year and a half-ish to get, I, I, I don't remember, to get uh, 1,000 subscribers, though. But th this channel has grown so quick, and hopefully uh, it's, it'll keep growing. I know it will. I know, it, it definitely will. But... Again, I, I couldn't have done it without you guys, so thank you. Thank you so much. 1,000 subscribers, and still going strong, of course. But anyway, this is going to be a... To celebrate it, we're going to do a Q&A. So, um, I, on Facebook, I asked you guys to ask me some questions. I didn't respond to any, obviously. I liked them, though, showing that I read them. Um, and then I took a bunch of questions that from mainly Facebook that you guys have asked. And I'll, I'll answer those too. So let's start. You, I should be showing my laptop screen. I got I got the Facebook questions on the right. I've got uh, Google Translate on the left, so I so I can read your guys' names. Um, I'm gonna try this one. Adam Ra. <laughs> I don't know. But let's let's see let's see what uh what not Siri what Google says. Ooh, that's quiet. Hold on. Adam Rye. Adam Rye. Rye. All right. <laughs> that sounds like my name. Uh, Adam Rye. So what's the hardest um, origami model you've ever folded, and what's the most impressive origami you've ever seen? The hardest origami model I've ever folded. I hate to say it, but it's that, it's that gosh darn wasp. Honestly. <laughs> the time-lapse wasp thing I, I uh, posted, that was, that was horrible. That, that was horrible. That was the, easily the hardest. Uh, close second, though, is the the first time folding the ancient dragon. I could, <laughs> it took me such a long time. I could barely get through it. It was pretty funny. I was like 16. I don't know. I'm 20 now. But, <laughs> that was rough. That, that was, it was really rough. But yeah, it's gotta be that wasp. But, <laughs> Uh, I hate that thing. I'm never folding it again. May <laughs> never say never, but whatever. Um, and the most impressive origami I've ever seen. I assume you mean in person. But if it's not in person, then obviously the Ryojin 3.5. But in person, <laughs> unfortunately, it's my own origami. Because I've never really gone to anywhere where there's been complicated origami. So... <laughs> Kind of a shitty answer, though. The most impressive origami I've ever seen is my own origami, but whatever. Uh, alright, let's keep going. We've got Kyle Pabalona. I don't have to, I don't have to, uh, Google Translate that. Um, with the question, are you ever going to show your face reveal? And since when, or so, when did you start doing origami? So I'm not going to do a face reveal, sorry. And, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, obviously. No, um, I started doing origami in fourth grade. My, my, uh, my teacher had us all read a book, and I, at the end of it, it taught us how to make a crane, how to make an origami crane. And, and ever since then, I've been really, I've been really into origami, and, Yep, now we're here. Now, um, let's keep going. Good question, though. Oh God, I'm not. I can't even. I can't even do this. Yes, we have decided, though. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. So, what is your first origami model, and how much do I spend on origami paper? My first origami model, um, the crane. So, yeah. <laughs> Last question kind of spoiled that one, but origami crane, yeah, the classic. 
how much money do I spend on paper each month? It's not really a monthly expense. It might be once I start making more content quicker, but um, I can tell you the 30 by 30 paper, I bought two packs, 20, 25, 30 each, I think, maybe, it was like 50-ish, it was 50-ish dollars, dollars. Um, and then the 60 by 60, that, that costed, that cost like 30, I want to say 35 each, I can look it up, but it doesn't really matter, um, <laughs> Long story short, probably I spent about $150 on origami paper. Um, probably a little less. Le 100 to 150 And it's been worth it. Just saying. It's definitely been worth it. The paper is so nice. And that, the 150 includes the homemade uh, tissue foil supplies to make to make the paper. Like the, the tin foil and the tissue paper and the uh, spray glue. Anyway, let's go to the next question. Again, can't I can't even attempt it. <laughs> oh god. Cesaru Gamerez. All right. <laughs> Cesaru Gamerez. Uh, what's the most difficult thing to do in origami? As in what kind of folding? So uh, I mean, I kind of have a dumb answer and a, and a real answer. The dumb answer is steps I don't know what to do. So I, kn I know this isn't exactly the answer you're looking for, but when, when you get stuck and you feel hopeless and you just want to quit, that, that is probably the worst part of origami. Um, what happened to the phoenix? That was terrible. Oh my god. The phoenix is wings. Anyway, but the real answer to your question, or the answer that you're looking for, is open sinks when you can't put your hand inside it. So you have to do open sinks like from the outside. I, if if you've done them, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, if you don't, if you haven't done them, then I'm not going to show you. But it, it it's very difficult and frustrating. And if you're not using good paper, you're gonna rip it. Um, a good example is the step on. I think it's Robert Lang's lobster. The tail is very difficult to do. Okay, that's a big open sink. But yeah, open sinks where you can't access the inside of the paper, basically. Those are not fun. Not fun. Oh, my favorite type, I, this is, uh, you did not ask this, but my favorite type of fold is the collapse. The, unless it's the wasp. The wasp, I do not like. But no, no normally like the collapse and then, and then open sinking where it's like back and forth, kind of like box bleeding. That's really fun. I really like... I really like doing that. And the Phoenix has... I'm looking up because I'm looking at the Phoenix. Here it is, guys. Caca! Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, man, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, the Phoenix has a really some really, really cool open sinks that I enjoy. Uh, let's keep going, though. Kyle Enright. Do not have to uh, <laughs> translate that one. Uh, face reveal. Yeah. Gotcha. And, um, <laughs> LOL. What other hobbies do you have besides origami? That's a great question. Um, mostly tennis. I love, I love playing tennis. Uh, I, I also can play soccer, baseball. I love frisbee. Frisbee is so fun. Um, video games. <laughs> I enjoy playing video games. Coding is kind of fun. Coding and video games combined. Not coding video games, although that's a thing too. I enjoy that too. But um, like when coding, well, I guess that's what I just said. When the video game, oh, that's not what I said. All right. Coding video games, like creating your own video game is cool. And, but I like games like Little Big Planet and uh, Project Spark where and the upcoming game Dreams by Media Molecule, where you make your own game in the game. That's that's really, really fun. Uh, other hobbies, let's see. I can yo-yo, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> or not, probably not cool. It's probably really, really nerdy, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty good at drawing, but yeah, that's pretty much it for hobbies. Um, yeah, so great question, though. I like it. Have I tried? Okay, uh, next question. Um, <laughs> Ahmed Amen. Let's let's see what Google says. Ahmed Amen. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that was really close. 
Um, did you try, have you ever tried wet folding before? And have I ever designed any of my own origami? Um, I'm going to say no. And then the next question is, the, uh, the next answer is yes and no. So for wet folding, no. <laughs> Pretty much simple as that. I have never tried. I really have, I only... I only use kami and that and tissue foil for the most part, so you can't you can't wet fold that stuff. Um, I don't know, maybe in the future, but I, I'd rather I I like the paper I use, but I should try new things. I don't know. Have I ever designed any origami? Yes, I'm not good at it, but yes. <laughs> so when I was like younger, I just folded random crap, and it was kind of fun. Whenever when I went to church, I just took the bulletin and just folded random stuff but um to pass the time and recently i just <laughs> i don't even want to say this but i i tried to design an origami shelf to hold your origami so it, yeah it was it was pretty i don't know lackluster but i did it <laughs> so stupid um i'm really bad at Designing my own my own complex origami though, but I really I really really want to learn I really want to learn Tadashi or uh, Tadashi Mori should should teach me that would be awesome I watched his videos but I don't know they're hard to hard to follow personally um free shout out no so next question by Hong Kong Chan. Do you often get stuck in the diagrams, and how many times after I've failed have I uh, finally completed? So, obviously, it depends on the diagrams for your second question. But the first question, of course I get stuck with the diagrams. Um, everyone does. Uh, 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 most, um, most diagrams I get stuck on are the ones that aren't diagrammed very well. But... Like the the phoenix, let's talk about that. There's a step with the uh, with the wings that are 188, I think, or maybe 182. Step 182. Um, I still don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's very difficult, and I, I I think between the two wings, it took me over an hour and a half. Maybe I uh, conservative conservatively an hour just to do the one step, and it. <laughs> or a two, one on each side. Yeah, I get stuck. It's not fun. But the more you fold, the more you see the steps over and over. And you, the more you, like, understand what the what the author is trying to get you to do. And what really helps, though, is folding the steps correctly beforehand so you can more, so you can easily match up what you have with the diagrams. But, yeah, it, all, it really all comes down to uh, repetition. Just practice. How many times... So, yeah, how many times do I fail before getting it? Um, it really depends. Sometimes I get super lucky. Sometimes I just keep going and what feels like for an hour and until I get it. But, oh man, it's, it's hard to quantify, to be honest. Finally, the last Facebook question. All right. Um, oh, God. Con Constantin Lesk. I want to hear this one. Constantine Leschke. Leschke. Okay, that makes yeah, Leschke. I should have known that. Do I have any experience with gluing and cutting big sheets of paper, right, to form big sheets of paper? Or, yeah, or do I prefer paper that's ready to fold? Well, obviously, I prefer paper that's ready to fold, but um, I've done that once. I, for my, I've made a, a very big ancient dragon, which I have never showed yet because it's at my house, but, um, I'm kind of, I'm un slightly unhappy with it, I didn't fold it great, it was out of homemade tissue foil, so that's, but it turned out well, it turned out well, don't get me wrong, if I had to guess, I didn't measure the paper, I don't know why I didn't measure it, but I'd say it's got to be 75 to 80 centimeters big, and I glued, I made some paper and then glued it together, um, it worked pretty well. It worked. It worked very well. It did, like it didn't fail on me. The the connections didn't fail on me. But like obviously, I prefer not to do it. But it works. It works. I try. Try it. You should try it. Honestly. But make sure the paper's pretty thin at the connection point. Um, great questions. Um, really quick before I go to the Facebook. I'm sorry, the YouTube questions. Um, 
My name's Ryan. I'm not giving you my last name. <laughs> uh, for obvious reasons. I'm 20 years old, and I'm a junior in college, if anyone's curious. That's about all the information, personal info, I'd like to get. I'm 5'7", I'm short. Or tall. It's all relative. It is all relative. Size does not matter. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that joke out. Probably not going to. I've basically screenshotted the answers, uh, the questions in my YouTube comments, and then I renamed the pictures um, to what the question I screenshotted is, and I should be overlaying the pictures of the questions on this video right now. Anyway, let's let's go through them. So, uh, can I message you? Yes, through YouTube, through Facebook, and through Patreon, I will almost always respond. The only time I don't respond is if I check it on my phone, and then the notification goes away, and then I forget to respond. Or when you're speaking a different language and I have no idea what to, no idea what you're saying. But I will always respond otherwise. Uh, do I have a Google Hangout? So, no, I don't. Should I? I don't know. Tell, I, tell me. I, I don't even know what that's for. I, I have an idea. I'm, I'm kidding. I have an idea. But yeah, I, I, I could easily make one, I guess. Um, I guess I'm gonna, I'm, I'll skip down to something related. Twitter, I don't have a Twitter on this, uh, related to this channel. I have no interest. Um, I, may, the, the, the really, the thing I would get is Instagram, uh, because, or maybe other picture sharing things, for the obvious reason that, um, uh, I'm based around visuals, like pictures, kind of, but... Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I should I get one? Any of these things? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love mocking people. Uh, anyway, like the generic the generic YouTuber. But um, how long have I been folding? I think I answered that since fourth grade. I was I'm gonna guess ten. So maybe ten years. Ballpark. Um, all right. There's Instagram. Yeah. Uh, music. So I. I'm going to assume this is music related to my videos. I love, at first I didn't, I didn't know about this channel, but, um, I discovered <laughs> no copyright sounds. That channel is amazing. I love, like I, I, I've literally downloaded like five songs from there and listened to them on my phone. I, but I use their songs for my YouTube videos and I love it. I love it so much. They're so catchy and they're great. Royalty free. It's the best. Um, so people asking about when the next poll is and when we're voting. Uh, <laughs> there's no really set date. I don't know. I'm sorry. But, so I'm going to make the, so, well, here's the, here's the word for me. I'm going to make the Phoenix and then I'm going to post the poll when I, when I get time. Uh, this poll I'm going to, I'm going to put a picture next to every single, every single option. So you guys have a better idea of what you're voting on. So you don't have to like. If you're curious about what something is, you don't have to look it up because that's it. Actually, is kind of annoying to do because there's a lot on that list. There's a lot on that list, but yeah. So Phoenix, then I'm going to do the poll. But in general, I will I will post a poll when the previous polls things are done. In general, and then okay, a ton of people asking <laughs> when the next tutorial is. And I will keep you guys up to date on Facebook page, more so on the Patreon page, but hopefully. Um, but yeah, generally, just whenever I can find, I, I tend to procrastinate a lot, <laughs> but if you can't tell, I uh, will try my best to to get the tutorial out as fast as possible. Whenever I, it's just when I have spare time. So like right now, I have spare time. I finished my homework for now. Um, there's always more though. But so whenever I can find the time, it's not like, it's not like I'm just sitting around doing nothing, but yeah, it, it takes time. Again, I say that word a lot, but it takes quite a long time to make these videos. Um, but yeah, uh, generally I, I'm, I'll post a picture of the practice model on Facebook and then 
and then I will make the tutorial, and then I will post the tutorial, so. Anyway, the uh, paper type I use. I prefer, I prefer uh, tissue foil, if you haven't noticed. For, the, the only reason I was using foil paper in my earlier videos was because that's all I had. But I love, tissue foil is awesome because it, it folds, not homemade, <laughs> Uh, the tissue foil from the origami shop, it's, it folds like kami, but it shapes relatively similarly to, uh, to foil paper. Obviously, foil paper shapes better, but, but it, it's awesome. I, I really like that paper. I'm going to try to get into other paper, like, I think it's called Thai. I don't know, but a thinner, thinner paper that's, like, similar, more similar to kami, but stronger. I'm, I'm going to try to get some of that paper. It looks, it looks fun to fold with. Um, all right, a couple people asking about <laughs> the permission to make these videos. Uh, I am 100% sure I have permission. Well, no, let me rephrase that. I'm 100% sure that I don't need permission as long as I'm not giving away the diagrams, per se. So, like, if I literally give away the diagrams, that's that's a no-no. But um, if I give, if I do a full, like, an absolute full tutorial... Um, that's basically giving away the diagrams, and I don't want to do that, even though it's probably fine. I, I don't want to do that because then they'll actually have an argument. But as of now, I've been uh, purposely leaving out the beginning part, the easy part, that you can follow the diagrams uh, by yourself without my help, um, for the sole fact that, well, not the sole fact, but <laughs> two, two sole facts? That makes no sense. For the two facts that, one, uh, it cuts down on the video time a lot. That's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. And two, um, you can't make the model with the video alone. You you have to have the diagrams one way or another. Obviously, there's so many ways to get the diagrams for free online, but not for me, and that's, that's all that matters. Uh... How the rendering time, it's painful. I should build my own desktop. <laughs> rendering time is horrible. But I do it, I do it for you guys. I do it. I power through. My my laptop powers through. It takes anywhere from one hour to 20, 30 hours, and that is not an exaggeration. <laughs> that is not an exaggeration. Maybe a little bit. Probably one to twenty-five hours. Um, it's, it's not, it's bad, but what, what are you going to do? Aside from, what am I going to do aside from getting a, a, a desktop? But anyway, um, okay. And now a bunch of people ask, uh, requests. So this is a cool topic. I, um, I think almost every single YouTuber that does origami, I know pretty much doesn't take requests. I mean, they might, but not in like an organized manner. I've tried to put a system in place where where I make a list of things. If you don't already know this, you probably do, but you, it's still cool to hear me describe it. Um, I make a list of things people request that haven't been, that I don't have a tutorial on already, obviously. And every once so often, um, every so often I hold a vote and you guys can, a straw poll kind of, and you guys can vote on it. Um, however, like you can vote one one vote per model, so I guess you could vote for every single model if you wanted to. But anyway, uh, in the models with the most votes, I make tutorials on. And I've done this one time so far, and it was the Tiger by, I want to say, Hideo Komatsu. And, and the Eagle by, by Ngayen Hong, I can't say his name, but... Uh, the Eagle and the Tiger were both from boats, and I, I'm glad you guys liked them. I'm going to do that more. I'm definitely going to do that more. But the other thing you can do now, which I've set up through Patreon, you can, um, you can donate a certain amount of money, and I will put your request at the very top. No exceptions. The, well, I guess not no exceptions. The only exception is, like, if, I, if I've already made the tutorial, I'm not going to make it again. There's no point. But... Also, if I just can't make the model, like, I can't, at this point in time, do any uh, crease pattern diagrams because I just, I'm not good at that at the moment. But, like, uh, Ryojin, Ryojin, 
Ryogen, I don't know how to say that, 3.5, I could not make because I'm not great at following crease patterns. Um, but yeah, something, but I, I, if you want, I think, I think it's 40, donate $45. The reason it's that much is because I can't have like everyone doing it because I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to fill out the requests. It, it would just take too much time. So I, I feel like $45 is good because, because I'm going to be making the tutorials regardless, but if you really, really want me to make something, then there's that option too. So <laughs> check out my Patreon page. It's right in the description, but yeah, so if, if you cannot, if you really want a tutorial, there, there's that option for you. And also on the, on that kind of subject, you can also, I, I will cut, I will make a model for you and, and ship it to you if you want me to. That, there's, that's available too. But, but yeah, so that, that's about requests. Um, I, I know it sucks if you, that it just like, it feels like your request never gets made, but that's the only way I can do it by voting. Now I also do, um, I also just make tutorials if I feel like it, like, like the ancient dragon and the Phoenix. I know those are really popular and that's why I'm going to do them. But, but yeah, the, the voting systems there. And I think, I think it's a, I think it's a fair system. And a couple more. Or, no, that's it. That's that's it, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, that's too bad because this was a question and answer video. So I guess they're never going to be answered. I'm kidding. Leave them in. <laughs> leave the questions in the description, and I will get to them. I will get to them. Um. Again, guys, a big thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Seriously, li like literally, without you, I would not. I would not be. As, as successful as I am, um, we're, we're, we're getting there, this channel is doing really, really well, and I, and I hope you guys will stick with me to hopefully, hopefully get a lot bigger, that, that's my goal, um, one last thing, I guess, because <laughs> I'm just rambling, but I really want to try other types of videos, like, I know a lot of origami YouTubers are doing, dude, like, demo videos, and where they just, they literally just show a model off, and well, I assume with the intent of doing a tutorial, but maybe not, I don't know, they just literally have a video showing the model off, so I, it's something I'm interested in, um, but, but whenever, if I ever do a demo, I, I, I intend on making a tutorial on it, so that's my promise to you guys, I, I'm actually, you know what, right after recording this, I'm going to record a Phoenix demo video, so, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, like if you have any ideas for videos that aren't tutorials, I'd love to hear them because um, right now, like I don't have that many videos out. The, the videos I have out are quality. They are quality, but I like to get more videos out because the more videos that I have, the faster I'll grow, the faster will grow. <laughs> um, and that's definitely ideal. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for if you stayed this long uh, for my mini podcast. I appreciate it. If, if you stayed this long or if you fast forwarded to the end, leave in the description. <laughs> I don't know. Say, say mini podcast in, in the, I, I said description, in the comments. <laughs> leave a comment saying mini podcast. Uh, that'll be really funny. But <laughs> uh, anyway, guys. Thanks for thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Um, I I post tutorials. Subscribe, please. I don't know why I'm saying subscribe at the end of a 25 minute video because obviously if you stayed this long, I would hope you're a subscriber. But anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll I'll see you later in the next video.